hi everyone hope you're all doing good welcome back again to my channel at irene gavivi for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back my new subscribers feel welcomed and my new viewers you have not subscribed consider subscribing so guys today i'm going to show you our daily morning routine this is what we do every day every day of our lives in the kitchen in the village this is what we do so in the morning we wake up after we wake up we start by looking for firewood the source the main source of energy in the in the village is firewood this is the main source it is cheap that's why it's the main source so last last night it uh, rained and we had to look for firewood and split it using our axe as you can see what we are doing so that when we light our fire it will be very fast and the firewood will be dry and it will not be so big not to light very fast so after we have gathered our firewood we get into our kitchen and we start lighting our firewood our last night's fire is already off and we have to start all over again by lighting another fire so that's what we are doing and you have to be very keen when you are lighting your fire you have to use very thin firewood so that it can light faster just down below then on top you can put those big big firewood and the fire will light very fast so we have to look for a plastic This is a rubber band. That's what we use to light our fire so that it can light fast. We'll just put it underneath the firewood so that it can burn the firewood and light very fast. This is the firewood that we looked for. And our kitchen, our fireplace, we use stones, three stones. So it's called the three stone method. That's what we use. And when you are using a big sufuria, you just pull the stone outside, far away from each other, so that a big sufuria can fit. When you want to use a small sufuria, you pull them inside near. You just push them as if you are pushing them near each other until the small sufuria fits. That's how we regulate our fireplace. So today we are going to have our porridge. That's what we are making for breakfast. And because we are taking a lot of people, we have to make a lot of porridge. And our water is already hot so that the cooking can be fast and when you are cooking you have to stir it very well when you don't stir your porridge it will be ugali like those who understand ugali it will have some big particles that are not soft that's why you have to stir until it gets thick and start boiling and you also add water according to the thickness you want if you want it lighter you add more water if you want it thick you just leave it like that that's what we are doing and we also prepare tea for anyone who don't feel like taking porridge so that everybody can be sorted in our farm we have some corn and the fire will do will do us so much
favor because we'll roast our corn. It's very sweet when you are roasting it just beside the fire to have it for breakfast. After we are through with our breakfast, we have to clean the utensils. This is the tea for anyone who don't feel like taking porridge. So we have to clean our kitchen so that we can leave it clean for further use. Like when we are cooking lunch. The kitchen will be clean and when we are cooking our lunch, we don't have to first wash our utensils, then cook. Because we'll be tired, we'll just have to come and cook direct. The kitchen will be clean. So these are breakfast utensils plus our last nights because we didn't wash them. We are doing them all together in the morning. That is the tea that we were making. So this is my other sister washing the utensils. Everybody have their shared work. So you know what you have to do. If it's cooking, it's your turn. If it's washing the utensils, if that is cleaning, cooking, looking after the animals, everybody have their own work. So even if you go and sleep, you know you have to do something. It will not be done by anybody else until you do it. So... That is the best way to share work in the village. Nobody will complain. They have a lot of work than the other. Everybody will be working at their own. This is how we cooked our tea. The fire was disturbing us, but... We really tried until the tea was ready. So these are the utensils that we used. And because it was, normally we do our utensils outside, but today it's a, it was a rainy day, so we had to do them inside. We avoid doing it in the house because the water's, feels so much in the house and because the house the kitchen is not cemented it will be muddy that's why we do it outside but because it was rainy in the morning we had to do it in the in the kitchen and after we have done that everything you can see what i was talking about so this is the ash after we have cooked the ash that is in the cooking area, that's what we are going to pour on top of the water so that it can dry up and we will just sweep the kitchen and everything will be clean again. Our, we will leave our kitchen clean. So this is how we do it in the kitchen. It's not cemented. That's why we are we are pouring ash on the water, not to be muddy. We sweep our kitchen so that it can be clean, and everything will be clean again. So guys, that's how we spend our morning. It's a very, it's a day, it's every day morning routine. This is what we do when we wake up every day, every day of our lives. This is what we do. 
so until next time guys and don't forget to subscribe bye